Welcome to Goodnight Robin, your someone to say goodnight to. I'm your host, Robin Rice. Tonight's sponsor is me. Again, we're new here, so we don't have a lot of sponsors lined up, and by we, I mean me, but you can find me at robinrice.com or take one of my free courses. The most loved is Training Your Inner Warrior, with more than 15,000 people having taken it so far, at bewhoyouare.com. Of course, you'll find this podcast and our patron group at goodnightrobin.com, and links are in our show notes. Hello, my friends. It's so good to be with you tonight. Today, I was thinking about something I've talked about a lot in my various teachings, and that is what the brain forgets and how we can remember. So our brain is designed to keep us safe, and the world has been in a chaotic place lately. So a lot of us, generally, if you tune in, do you feel safe about the future, about your family, about the world? Most people would say, you know, pretty emphatically no right now, and some extremely fearful about that. And so when the brain is fearful, it's searching for what it needs to do to be safe. And it's likely to put things it doesn't need away. So the parts of you that are safe, the parts of you that have been successful, the parts of you that have, you know, that knows that you have a beautiful place to live if you do, or that knows that you have a warm bed, or that you have never missed a meal, whatever it is that is safe for you, and that's not true for everyone, those are just examples, but Whatever that is that's true, your brain is like, okay, yeah, got it done. Get out of here. Let's not waste any energy thinking about that. The problem with that, and one of the reasons why gratitude, by the way, is so important is because it pulls those things up. You go back and you say, okay, what am I grateful for? But the problem with that is that we forget all the good things that have happened and we're on alert for the bad things. We're on alert for where things aren't right. And we constantly search for how can I be happier? How can I be safer? How can I be X, Y, Z, er? Um, And that challenge for our brain has to be dealt with. So one of the ways that I suggest for people is obviously a gratitude journal is, you know, it's super proven to be, you know, it's overproven. It's been done so many beautiful times that this really helps us. It helps us to remember all the good things and not have only this dark picture in front of us. And then what I add to that is what I call a wins journal. So winning and losing, if you will, but only the wins. And this journal is about what I'm intending and then what I get. So it's not just gratitude. It's not just having a warm bed. It's I decided I was going to have this goal or this intention. And the universe showed up and actually supported that. And I have this evidence here. I talked to someone recently who interviewed me for a podcast and she said she has an evidence journal. And I thought that's another great way to put it. I was really excited about that. So whatever it is, we want to be able to look back and say, well, I intended whatever it might be. I intended to get into a good college and I got into one. Now, obviously that's going to be for a younger person than me right now, because I'm long past those days. Not that you can't go back later, but not in my intention set. So let's see some of the other things that you might put in the, what you're planning on is, you know, I plan on eating really well. And it turns out someone gave me a fruit basket, you know, so that that supported my interest in eating well. It can be anything like that, but whatever the win is, you write the wins down. So on the days when you're stressed, which is when you forget all of those things, you go back and you read the wins journal as your intentional act to pull up those memories and say, wait a minute, when I set my intention somewhere, very often the universe shows up or I simply accomplish it or whatever it is. So finding, you know, a great producer for my podcast was definitely on my list. And I have an amazing producer. Predrag is just fantastic, by the way. So thank you to Predrag for that. And whatever that is for you is what you need to pull up. So your brain is going to forget, especially in times of stress, all the good things. Back in the days when I was severely depressed back in my early 20s, I would describe it as like there's this chalkboard that you can write on. And every single thing I ever did, every good, every bad, everything that happened to me was written on this board. But when I was depressed, every one of the good ones was 
erased. And so I just looked at this horrible chalkboard full of bad things. And what I did find was that I could pull them up intentionally. So this is the same idea. I can't promise you that it's going to, you know, alleviate your depression, but I can promise that it's going to help you remember the good and have a more balanced view. So I thought I would share that with you today. I hope it's helpful and I hope you have a million things to put on your list of things that are great that have happened. And as you go forward with a wins journal, that you have lots of wins in the future. Good night, my friend. I'm so glad we're here together.